That's exactly what. That's exactly what Pete said. Amen. I told him, pray for me, Dad, pray for me. Yeah. He said, oh, you're never a loss for words. <laughs> and I said, no, oh, that's a compliment or a cut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me. Yeah. So I just said, pray. pray. <laughs> and I picked up this copy from where the pastor's kids is all the copy. And I was thankful. And I'll read it to you first before I stop because it says, if you don't leave your past in the past, it will destroy your future. Oh, leave for what today has offered uh -huh. and not for what yesterday has taken away. That's right. So that's part of what I'm wanting to get through today. So good morning to everybody. And I placed my title on my lesson as God's Masterpiece. Amen. Ooh, we're God's Masterpiece. Yes. yes. If we haven't thought about it or really, really chew on it, especially the ones that have to work all the time and have little children at home. But we are God's masterpiece. Do you know what that means? That the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that created heaven and earth loves you and he thinks you're special and nothing and nobody can take your place because you're extremely valuable to him. You're extremely valuable. And he says he just made one of you because he wanted you to be perfect in every area, every area of your lives. But we take so many things for granted. We're always wanting our friends to support us, to look at us, to pat us on the back, and sometimes they let us down. But our Creator, our Maker, God the Father, our Almighty Father, never lets us down. We are not average or ordinary. There is something about you, you are not. An you are an original, but an extremely valuable in his eyes. Mm -hmm. So anytime you get hurt by adult bullies, is what I call them, or people at work or at church or whatever, you turn to your Heavenly Father and find out who you are in Christ. Amen. Find, yeah. out, on, find out who the importance that he has for you. The word yes. says is that you're the apple of his eye. Has anybody yeah. ever told you that? No. Yes. Oh. But the Lord does. That's what the Word says. So don't discount. Don't discount what has credited you by the Heavenly Father. Extraordinary. Extra valuable. Put titles in yourself, not what people say about you or treat you mean or because you're not the right size or the right color or the right job or you don't have the newest car or the most beautiful home. You're... You belong to the one that created heaven and earth, that made the seas to part, that rose from the dead in resurrection day for you and me, not just for him to be placed in that situation, but for you and me yeah. so that we could go to heaven someday. Yeah. God's masterpiece. As you know, I love quotes and I try to see positive through the quotes. One of them today will be it's in Psalm 92, 14, and to me it was great because it says, they will, this is for older people, it says, they will still bear fruit in old age. I said, thank you, Father God. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock. Thank you, Father God. And he also puts in, in Max Lucado, or Lucado, the author and evangelist, he says, God never said that the journey would be easy, but he did say that the arrival would be worthwhile. So you have to know quotes in the Bible and just keep on keeping on, never giving up. God will meet you always where you are in order to take you where he wants you to go. Tony Evans is one that says that. And in Psalms 139, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So study the word. Go to the word for who you are. Yes, Don't yes. take your past because all of us have a past. Oh. All of us have a oh, past. It. But it's what we do with it. You either get better or bitter in this world because of your past. Amen. So you decide. You decide. Yes. You've got a mind that the Lord says give you and the word says to renew your mind daily. Yes. Not just when you feel like it or when things are going wrong. Do it daily so you can continue to bloom in 
when the Lord has won us to bloom, for you are planted. He says, and uh, here's another quote. He says, remember who you are. Don't compromise for anyone, for any reason. You're a child of the Almighty God. Yeah. Live the truth. Well, Lisa something or other is the one that wrote that. And another one says, everything may not be perfect. There are things that may need to change, but you have the grace to be happy today. Joel Osteen says that. He says, don't ever discount what God has created in you. Don't ever discount it. Always keep your eyes on the Lord, renewing your mind, and not thinking of the past. But we will go through trials and tribulations and just turn it over to the Lord because yes. he says, the battle is mine. Yes. I will be your vindicator. I will do for you coming and going, but you decide. Yes. You either at home feeling, uh, feeling sorry for yourself or like a, a spirit and I used to call it, having pity parties. That doesn't remedy anything. That's right. It doesn't remedy. But when you go to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that created you, you have to know who you are. Yes. We put the crown of favor every morning and say, hey, I belong to the King of King and Lord of Lords. Not because of who I am, because I'm a sinner, but because of Jesus on the cross. Right. So I will have my cake and eat it too, the way we call it. We'll have it all in abundance. Not have done or merely done, but all of it in abundance yeah. because of Jesus on the cross. I like this quote that says also, he says, a dead fish may float downstream. It takes a live one to swim upstream. You decide. You decide what you're gonna do with your life every single day and don't let somebody tell you how to live it or what not to live it or what to buy or what not to buy. You decide. The Lord gave you a mind, use it. And you belong to a king, stand on who you belong to. You're a child of the king of king and lord of lords. Amen. And you let somebody ruin your day? Don't be like that and it upsets me because you need to know who you are before yeah. you let anybody or anything destroy your life. It is easy to be common. The present comes when you decide to be uncommon, as Joel Osteen says well. And in Proverbs 22, 1, it says, a good name is more desirable than great riches that is, in, is better than silver or gold. A good name. And you know what? We have a good name because we belong to the king. Yeah. Anytime somebody doesn't like you or critiques you or, or where you work or where you go down the street and somebody tries to ruin your day, say, Father God, that's your battle to fight. Yes. I'm victorious in every and all situations. I am loved by the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and I would not let this destroy my moment, my time, my fear at work, at school, or wherever you are. Yes. Victory is mine. I am his. Claim it every day. Oh, we remember the battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. I am God's very own child, and he is my very own heavenly father that loves me individually. Amen. And the word says in Romans 8, 38, about the love of God that never leaves us nor forsakes us. You have to remember that, that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. Right. So there's nothing that you could have done yesterday, today, or tomorrow that he would be in a bad mood or have PTS or whatever and say, I'm not gonna like you today, I'm not gonna like you. You didn't pay the price. You weren't good enough. You didn't dress right enough. You don't look good enough. He is our Heavenly Father that has that agape love that never leaves you nor forsakes you. So remember who you are every day. He loves you. The past cannot be changed. The future is yet in your power. So you decide. You have to decide because the past, nobody can change that. And don't waste minutes, times, or, or your life there are some people that you can teach them the verses that are not teachable. Mm. But the ones that can learn, yes. like the way Astrid and I started years ago, you can learn and find out that you can change the past. Right. You ask God to forgive you, and that's as far as it goes because he'll never remember the past when you ask forgiveness. Whether the north is to the right or, or south is to the west, he never remembers. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy it. He'll put it in your mind so you can remember the past. Hey, how's, why is the Lord going to help you? You have a past. Yeah, but it's under the blood. So you stay away from it, Satan, because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your ambitions without, without a humble but reasonable confidence 
in the power that God gives you in the book of John and Luke, you cannot be happy or successful. The battle is the Lord, the Lord's victory is yours. Yes. Until you decide that victory is yours. We shall wear the crown of favor daily. Every day when you get up and get ready for your work, the school, or just every day people that are retired like myself, you can just put on the armor of God every day that's in Ephesians yeah. 6 and put the crown of favor and say, thank you, Father God, because I am a child of the King. Each one of you is a child of the King, of King and Lord of Lords. The, in Isaiah, I like the whole Bible, but for some reason the Lord brought me to Isaiah. So let's go there. Yeah. Praise God. It's Isaiah 40, 31. Even youth grows tired and weary, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk but not faint. I was reading about eagles the other day where it says that they don't eat carcasses or dirty anything. They go down the river and look for a live fish so they can eat. They take care of themselves, they're healthy, so that they can soar over their problems. And that's what you and me can do when we read the word. We get lifted up, we get fed the right thing, which is the word, instead of hearing what the voices of, of, of the world says, the news says, the, your friends, your relatives, you hear what the word has to say and do it. Like the eagle, we can soar over our problems. We don't have to be caught in the storms of everyday trials and tribulations because the word says that God fights our battles. Yes. So we stand on what the Heavenly Father says for us, but we need to study the word. Like we do everything else, we have to study, go to college, people that are blessed to go to college to work and learn. But this is a book that gives us what we have to learn on a daily basis for our daily trials and tribulations. So just remember that. There are seven rules that I read a while back. But while we're in Isaiah, I, I remembered Isaiah 41.10 is a very good one too. No, yes, 41.10. It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. It says, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Then I had to go back and study the right hand and this and that. And I found out that our Heavenly Father carves his names on the palm of his hand. He never forgets you. He carries you wherever he is, taking care of other problems in the world or his other children. But he never forgets you. He's right here. He carves your names so that he will know and that we would know and remember and remember whose we are. Isaiah 53, 4. Fifty-three, four. It says, "Surely he took up our pain and bore our sufferings. Yeah. Yet we considered him punished by God, strengthened by him, and afflicted. He was pierced for our transgressions; he was crushed." for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, for by his wounds we are healed. We are like sheep that have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own ways, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of all of us. Yeah. Don't just take that slightly. Mm. That means something. Yes. That means something that he could not find a way that we would go back to him so God the Father sacrificed his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, to suffer the way he did, the way uh, pastors preached last weekend, I'm sure, where he suffered for us. So don't just think we just 
and you wonder walking and living in our past and worrying about what people say about us or, or just trying to please be people pleasers, don't do that. Remember who died in the cross for yes. who, who feels the broken hearted yes. and sets the captives free. The rules of life says make peace with your past. So do it. So it will not affect the future. So make peace with your past. What others think of you is none of your business. That's God's business. So the battle is his. And we can say, thank you, Father God. Somebody is mistreating you or cutting you down or thinking that they're better than you. So the battle is yours, Father. I am yours and I am loved by the King of kings and Lord of lords. Sometimes you have to say more times than not during the day. Sometimes you don't even need it. But he's there to yes. carry you. He says, time heals almost everything, give it time. Or says, don't compare your life to others and don't judge them. Yeah. You have no idea what their journey is all about. Everybody has a journey, but we decide through Jesus Christ who's going to make it and who doesn't. Right. This is the man that's going to make it for you and me. Yeah. And this is what you're making. And don't just be a reader of the word, be a doer of the word. Yeah. Because some people know it from the yeah. beginning to revelations yeah. and memorize it. Oh, yeah. Good for you. But be a doer of the word. Stand on what the word says about you, about the individual one of you. And, and number five said, it's all right to not know all the answers. They will come to you when you least expect it. Number six says, you are in charge of your happiness. So you are. You either decide every day you're going to let anybody or everybody ruin your day, or you're going to have a good time that day. Oh, Even with all the people that have all their messes and try to include you in their messes because they can get their life together. Oh, you know who you are in Christ. You know you're a masterpiece. You know that you are the favorable of God. You know you were the crown of favor because you are a child of the living God. Seven says, smile. You don't own all the problems in the world. Oh That's God's goodness. problem. Amen. <laughs> it, it, is it that it, sometimes we have bad reports, mm -hmm. but that's where we have to stay and know who we are again. Yes. And Amen. remember that. Whose battle is it? Uh -huh. The Lord's. Oh, Lord. Whose child are we? Oh, the Lord. Lord's. Who are we in his eyes? The apple of his eyes. Who is he going to bless coming and going? Yes. You and me our church family because we decide to serve him we decide to serve him and it's not about religions it's about a relationship with the yes. heavenly father yes. because no church or ever is going to save us like pastors keep telling us this is just the building this is the church so whenever we go to churches it doesn't matter but you have a relationship with jesus christ through the word of god through what the manual he teaches like your mothers that might left you a good recipe book to be a good cook this is what the lord left us so that we would have a life and a life in abundance in abundance in every and all situations and it's not a matter of of what we have or or what we go through or who teaches what or it's just who you are in christ you have to make your life to look better to him only and not just around to see who's doing what who cares who cares that's none of your business. Your business is to have a relationship with Jesus, yes. to take care of your home. And once, uh, I remember, uh, the word says to be like little children. And what I admire a lot is Addie. How she helps in the church and runs and takes the uh, offering and helps with communion. And you can see her standing up straight and a smile on her face because she knows who she belongs to. She knows who loves her. She knows who's going to support her. If she falls down, she looks and sees her dad or her mom or her grandmother. She knows who she is in her family. And that's the way we have to be when the word says to be like little children. We have to know in our norm whose we belong to. Whose word are we going to listen to? Who? is in charge of our lives. Who loves us? Who takes care of yes. us? Who is above and beyond? Yes. My daily declaration, I am loved and I am chosen. Amen. I am loved, called, and chosen. Yes. I am rich in every way and generous in every yes. occasion. Thank you, Lord. I am anointed, appointed, equipped, and enabled by the power yes. of my God that Hallelujah. works mightily within me. And then we go to Isaiah 54, 17. 
And the little boy said, no weapons. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. No weapons. No weapons. No weapons. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon formed against you will prevail. That's right. You will, he says, and you will refute every tongue yes. that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindicator from me, declares the Lord. That's a heavy statement, but you need to learn and memorize and keep it here and here. And I live and breathe and serve the power fully, the shelter of the Most High. Jesus loves me. In Romans 30, in Romans 8, 38, but right now I want to read to another of my favorites that I read every day, Psalm 91. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I read also Psalm 90 because Irma does that for me and she says, that's the prayer of Moses. So we read it 90 and 91. Psalms 91, it says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress and my God in whom I trust. Surely you will save you from the foul snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terrors by night nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, nor the plagues that destroy at midnight. With the news every day, the way it ha things are happening, like you were saying about the churches and everything, we will see that in the end times. Everywhere you turn, every channel you turn, don't listen to the news. But my Heavenly Father will protect you. Why? Because we're children of the King. We have a relationship with Him. He lives in our lives, in our daily lives, so we will not be touched by all of that. But it's our our responsibility to pray for all those people, yes. for all everybody. A thousand may fall, it's number seven. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, and it will not come near you. That's where it says nothing that is going wrong in the world will come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Yes. And you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you've made me the most high, your dwelling, your dwelling place. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, which is your home. And he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so they will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, which is the enemy, that tries to steal, kill, and destroy. You will trample the great lion and serpent because he loves me. That's what the Lord asks of each one of us, that we love him, that we praise his holy name. That's all he asks, that we love him, that you spend time with him, and just to praise him. Yeah. He, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. Yes. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. In other words, in every trials and tribulations that we meet in our daily lives, we are more than conquerors, yes. the word says. We will win every battle, every war. Yes. This is and the war which is uh, salvation. So we've, in other words, like I said, we have our cake and eat it too because he'll be there with us in everything we go through, but mainly because he loves us yes. and we love him. He chooses to love us first before we even love him. Uh -huh. But in spite of who he is, he'll say knock and it shall be open. Mm -hmm. He'll be there. Most of the times we're so proud and we're very responsible people, so we try to correct every problem. Uh -huh. We try to do it because you're the head of the household because you're the mother of the household because you're the child of the household. We take too much responsibility on you. But he says, come to me yes. and I will hold you and I will bless you and I'll fight your battles. So it's not that we're weak. It's that we can lean on him because he's our heavenly father the way Annie depends on her parents, on her brother, 
on her church family that loves her because we are like little children and we have to be like little children yeah. so that the Lord can see our humbleness so when we go to him, he'll be there. Amen. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? It's, everything is in the word. You just have to make time to read it and find out whose child you are, whose child you belong to. Don't ever discount what God has created in you. Don't ever discount it. Don't ever discount it. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. And he'll never start loving you. Let's go to Romans 8.38. Didn't have that one to read, but I'm getting as good as Pastor Sean. <laughs> the Holy Spirit enlightened me to read that. Romans what? Eight. Mm -hmm. It starts in 37. It says, In all things we are more than conquerors to Him who loves us. Yeah. He'll never change loving us. So in all things, we will be more than conquerors. In everyday lives, in our problems, everyday little problems that this shoe didn't fit or you can't find the other one, like I can't find the pair to the other one. Little things, he's there. We are more than conquerors. And he says, for I am convinced that he, and that's for you and me, for we are convinced that neither death nor life, yes. neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights, nor depths, nor anything else in our, cre in our creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is right. in Christ Jesus our Lord. Yeah. You're just not anybody, you're somebody. Right. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. Right. Put on that crown of favor yeah. because the King of kings and Lord of lords uh -huh. created you, uh -huh. loves you, and yeah. will continue helping you until yeah. he takes us home. And not because we're perfect, as I tell the Lord every day. I say, Father God, thank you for blessing me, not because of who I am. I'm a sinner, but because of Jesus on the cross. And never do we have anything else but blessings coming and going. Blessings coming and going. And people might say, well, how come this looks that way? And how come they never have problems? Yes, we do. But we know who's going to fight our battles. We know who we belong to. We know that the King of King and Lord of Lord is in us and lives in us yes. and will protect us coming and going Amen. in Jesus name so for, don't forget don't live in the past right. the yes. past erase law it's gone <laughs> don't let the enemy come to steal kill and destroy right. your peace your joy your happiness right. your life your stressfulness and the word says as well that he has more presence to give us free gifts that is in the word for you yes. that we'll never see. Some people will never receive the free gifts that the Lord has for you. That's right. He has boxes and boxes stored up that says, I that this is says Irma, this is a sleep, this is Daniel, this is Abby. But you never go get them and they're for free. Joy, happiness, peace, finances being met, health, everything, relationships. Uh, that are broken, that you wish that would come to pass, oh. a broken heart. He heals the broken heart yes, he and set the captives free. Right. So remember whose you are. Remember yeah. whose you are. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. And like uh, Ryan always tells Pastor, so I'm waiting for Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just say a prayer for you guys because. Yeah. That's the end of it. And remember my declaration for you. I am called, loved, and chosen. I am rich in every way and generous in every occasion. Amen. I am anointed, appointed, equipped, and enabled by the power of God that works mightily within me. Amen. And then he said the Isaiah, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Yeah. I live and breathe and serve the power fully under the shelter of the Most High. Uh -huh. Because why? Jesus loves you. Don't ever forget that. Jesus loves you. That's my lesson for today. And let me say a prayer for you guys. Father God, we just thank you for each one of us here, Father God, for the anointing that each one of us are blessed with. Some of us with two or three talents, Father God, others with more than that. Father God, the only anointing that you gave me was the gift of gab. And Father God, I use it wisely. And I thank you for that, Father God. And bless each one of the persons here that, are, that you know their hearts. You know them since they were in their mother's womb, Father God, because you created them. We just 
came through our mother, but you created us, Father God. Yes. And we thank you, Father God, for the anointing on each one here, Father God, that they will not go without knowing that the King of kings and Lord of lords loves them, died on the cross, Jesus, for them, so they could have everything, their heart's desires, their ambitions, their love, their trust, their forgiveness, the relationships, Father God, peace and joy that most of us never carry, peace and joy. Through the stressful times, we have to be peaceful and joyful. And Father God, each one is in reading their names in the palm of their hand, that they will know in their knower, Father God, that all you ask is for us to love you and to praise your holy name, Father God. That's all you ask, Father God. But for us to all go to the Word and find out the desires of our heart, the way the word says, Father God, that you have for us and bless them, Father God, coming and going, Father God. Cover them with the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross. Send the Holy Spirit to give them wisdom and knowledge, Father God, for a daily living and daily lives because each one of us here, Father God, each one has a different kind of lives because of our ages, our status, who works, who goes to school, Father God, but you know all of that. And we thank you for that, Father God. We thank you for that. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen, Father God. Amen.